Hi guys and welcome back. So today I will be showing you a version of a trick I showed you some time ago. So this is basically the same effect but a different method. I think we can learn something from doing the same trick but different methods. So that's why I'm showing you this today. So for this trick I would ask a spectator to say stop wherever it likes. So let's say he stops me here at this card and I would ask him to place his hand on this card so I can touch it, right? Now, whoops, I would ask a second spectator to pick a card. So you can pick any card he wants. Let's say he picks this card. It's an eight. So I'm gonna deal eight cards right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that, okay? And now I would ask a second spectator to pick a card, whichever card he wants. So let's say he picks this one, it's a 10. That means I would deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards, just like that. And finally, the third and final spectator would pick this card, it's a Jack. Let's count the picture cards as tens as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just like that. Okay, so for the first time, I would like you to remove your hand and show us which card you picked completely freely at the beginning. So it's a seven and you picked that completely freely. And you guys, of course, picked these completely freely and we dealt the number that you picked completely by chance. But still, we dealt to another seven, another seven, and the last seven. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this trick and how it's done. Okay guys, I hope you like that little performance. Remember, leave a like and subscribe. And as I said, I have showed you a version of this trick before. So you can go watch that video if you want a variation of a version I read in Expert Car Technique. And I didn't know then, or I had forgotten, that they have a version of it in the Royal Road to Card Magic, in the Lift Shuffle chapter. This trick is called the Sevens, and it's on page one, two, three. And I just wanted to show you this different method, because I think we can learn by reading and seeing different methods, and we can pick the bits and pieces that we like. So the setup for this is very easy. You have the seven sevens, sorry, the four sevens on top, just like that. You can do that with a spread call or just have them there from the beginning. We can always start, you know, with a false shuffle. You can learn in the video popping up right now. So just a false shuffle to start off with. And then we can do the lift shuffle force, which we talked about one or two videos ago. Hopefully it will pop up right now. We shuffle off at least the sevens. We lift it underneath and we shuffle till they say stop and we drop those sevens on top. Okay, so we have the sevens here on top now and they get that card and we tell them to place their hand on it so we can touch them. And you take these cards in your right hand and you place them underneath, thus returning these three sevens to the top. Now you run two cards, one, two, throw on top. So you get those two on the bottom. And then what you can do is you can milk the deck, which means holding back the top and the bottom card like this. So that's two sevens that will end up on the bottom. And then we shuffle this seven back to the top. Okay, so now we have a seven on top and two sevens on the bottom. And now you spread the cards and you ask them to pick a card. And you know, in 99 of 100 times, they will pick one of the cards in the middle, if not even more often. Okay, so in this case, they pick a two and we simply deal one, two cards. And of course, we dealt the seven right there. So now we have these two sevens here and we can shuffle that seven up to the top. We hold back this seven with these fingers and we shuffle up, or shuffle, shuffle up this next seven to the top, just like that. And then they get to pick another card. So in this case, it's a five and we simply deal one, two, three, four, five. And now we simply shuffle that last seven to the top. 
running the last few. So we have the last seven up here and they pick a card. And in this case, it's a 10. And if you're nervous that they will pick the top or the bottom card in these instances, you can always, you know, spread it between your hands. You can control the situation even more. So 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I usually count the picture cards as 10 as well. Just a little less stealing, you know. And here we're all set. I like to remove these cards because the final display is nicer. I ask him for the first time, what card did you pick? It's a 7, hmm, peculiar. And then you picked these completely freely. So just by chance, we happen to deal exactly to the other three sevens, just like that. And as I said in the last video, this is a super strong trick for lay people. It's super fun to perform this. I might like the other version a little bit more, but I wanted you to, sh to see this so you can pick your favorite. And this is also an excellent way to practice different overhand shuffle techniques. So if you like this, remember to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. I always appreciate when you comment your ideas and what you think. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.